There are a total of 30 bones that make up each of the lower limbs in your body. The lower limb includes the leg and the foot. The femur or thigh bone is the longest bone in your body and it articulates or forms a joint at the top with a hip bone. This bone actually angles inward which brings the knee closer to the midline of the body. The patella bone, which is often called the kneecap, is attached to the quadriceps muscle by the quadriceps tendon and it is also attached to the tibia bone by the patellar tendon or patellar ligament. This bone allows the tendon to glide more smoothly and provides protection for the knee joint. At the joint of the knee, the femur meets the tibia bone and the fibula bone, which are the bones of your lower leg. The tibia is the larger of these bones and it is located closer to the midline of the body and it forms a synovial joint, which is a joint with a capsule, with the femur bone. The fibula is located lateral to the tibia and it forms two joints with the tibia the superior tibiofibular joint and the inferior tibiofibular joint. It is connected to the femur by the LCL or lateral collateral ligament. At the distal end of both the tibia and fibula near the foot, they articulate with the talus bone to form the ankle joint. The talus bone is classified as a tarsal bone of the foot as your foot is comprised of three types of bones, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. There are a total of seven tarsals, the just mentioned talus bone, the calcaneus bone, which is the heel of the foot, the navicular bone, the cuboid bone, and a set of three cuneiform bones, the medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, and lateral cuneiform. There are a total of five metatarsals, which are denoted by the Roman numerals one through five, with one located at the base of the big toe near the midline of the body, and five at the base of the little toe. The phalanges are the bones of the toes and they make up a total of 14 bones. The big toe, which is also called the hallux, has only two phalanges, the distal phalanx of hallux and the proximal phalanx of hallux, with the distal bone being further from the heel. Each of the four other toes has three phalanges, a distal phalanx, a middle phalanx, and a proximal phalanx. And that be the bones and structure of the legs and feet.